Hey there, this is Jonathan, and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at installing fonts temporarily using a great application called Portable Apps. Now, if you're not familiar what this is, this is an application that you install into your portable drive or cloud drive or whatever it is. A USB is a great way to be able to carry it around from one computer to another, of course. And then you can run it as an application on that USB and then you can run other pieces of software through it instead of having to install them on the computer. So what's great about it is that some of the most common software items that you might use might be portable applications that you can have access to anytime you plug in your USB. So it's really excellent for that. Now it also is excellent for the ability to be able to run fonts temporarily when you run the portable apps application. So the first thing that you want to do is download it. When you download it, it'll actually take you to a, a results screen that looks kind of like this, and it walks through walks you through the basic installation of it. But in order to install it, I'm going to go ahead and go to that folder. Let's see that that's the portable app right there. And so what I want to point out here is you want to make sure that you select a custom location, and that custom location is the font or the folder of your USB that you're installing it into. Now you do want to be aware that it's going to put um, a couple folders onto your USB as well as a few files as well. And so just be aware of where you're putting it. You might want to create a subfolder for it or put it on the root of your USB if it's pretty clean. Um, but it is going to make a documents folder. I'm not going to install it because I already have. Um, but I'm also going to bring up this because this is a font and we'll get to that in a minute. Once you've installed this font, you can go, or in this application, you can go to your um, your drive where you've installed it, and you should now see a documents folder, a portable apps folder, a start exe file, and then you might also have an auto run.inf file. I delete the auto run because I don't want it to run every single time I put in the USB. I want it to run when I choose to make it run. So that's one thing I definitely del um, suggest deleting. But if we go into this portable apps folder, here's the portableapps.com folder, and here is where the application actually is. And then there's some other folders here, and the most important one is the one called data. The reason why is because inside there, you want to create a folder called fonts. Then inside that font, you are folder, you want to drag in the other fonts that you might want to use. For example, I'd know that I would like to install Lobster 2. So I'm going to extract these files, these um, open type file formats, into that particular folder. Now you can, of course, if you're on a computer that's at home, you can install these manually. But instead of installing them into your operating system, so they're always there, if you put them into this folder, then when you run the portable apps application, it will actually install those fonts temporarily. And here's how we do it. I'm going to go ahead and start the application. It will give me some information about it. It may pull up a list of applications that I might want to install, which right now I'm not going to install any. But I do want to point out there's some really excellent ones in here. For example, there are tools for doing web coding. Um, here's an XAMPP for doing a virtual server. Um, another one that I like in here is a graphics application called XNView. There's some games. Let's see, where's the graphics and pictures? So Blender is pretty cool, of course, for 3D. Um, one of the other ones, there it is. XNView is an excellent application for um, image management and everything else. And then you have some internet tools, certainly worth um, looking into. Then if you look at the pictures, videos, and music in my documents, this will actually open up the folder on your computer on your USB, which is called documents. And then there's the music, pictures, and video folders inside of there. So it's just a quick launcher to be able to bring that up. Now, what you don't see are the fonts that are installed. There's no way that you can actually see them here. You just have to know that they've been put into that folder, into that data folder called fonts. So the way to prove that this is working is I'm going to go and open up a new document. I happen to be in Flash, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to go ahead and go and do some typing here. And so I'll just write test. 
or how about I actually spell it test and right now I'm using Babus Noya but I'm gonna find lobster instead lobster 2 so there is that font I'm gonna go ahead and save this just so I can test that and I'm gonna close it now what I'm gonna do is close my portable application when that's closed, what it should do is unload that font so that font is no longer available. Now we'll go to File, and it'll open that recent font that I just did, and that font usually is not installed. Um, but for some reason, mine is definitely seeing that it's still there. And it could be that it is installing my computer. Not exactly sure, but I know in an environment where you can't install fonts, this can actually allow you to um, use those fonts. So. Um, I've tested it out in another environment and I think that's pretty good. Ooh, maybe I didn't completely close it. And that could totally be it. Let's see. It's possible that that's the problem. I had I didn't go through that message where it ac actually closed the file. Yep, there it is. That was the problem. I didn't close that file and because I didn't close it completely that's why that font was still up there. So a good thing to know, um, once again, you can't use that font unless you have that application running. So you would then have to go right back to the, the application. So I'll go back to my USB, start the application, and then I might be able to close that document and open it back up. And then you'll see I have access to that font. And of course, when you're using fonts like this in graphic design, then what you can do is either break them apart or convert them to outlines so that you're not actually dependent upon the font anymore. So just wanted to show that because it's a great way of getting fonts into your design projects without being able to install them on the computers themselves. Hope you uh, enjoy looking at some of the other applications because it's a really nice um, tool for you to be able to access applications that you need in lab environments where you don't have the ability to install software and you don't have com the software already on the computers themselves. Thanks.